tips, final tips and reminders. Discussions are about furthering the narrative or the argument that you presented to us in the introduction in the literature review chapters. You had, you started off with an argument. You started off with saying, here's what is currently happening in in the world, in the field with this context. And now you're going to finish that argument and really make your point. Like this is the climax. Like this is the mic drop moment for the discussion chapter. I will encourage you to keep a parking lot list as you're writing this chapter because different thoughts, other findings that you may not want to use in dissertation, um, other projects, other musings might come up that are not quite appropriate for the discussion chapter, and but you might want to use them later, maybe for a publication, a presentation, a side project. You And so that you don't forget it and so that your brain doesn't constantly obsess about it, have a parking lot list, which is just a document, a running tab of thoughts and musings and ideas. So you know that you can always go back to it later when you're done with the dissertation. Know that you might have to change your um, questions or your purpose statement based on what you found. Mm. Now, there's different schools of thoughts on this, and you might say, but that's what I defended in my proposal. And here's what I want to say to you is that when you wrote your proposal, you had a certain understanding then, but now time has passed. You have more experience. You have more knowledge. You have deeper understandings, different understandings. And that may mean that you need to tweak your questions and your purpose statement. And people are prepared for that. And they will just want you to be able to clearly articulate that's what you did and why you did it. So just know that that is common. I've seen many dissertations where they organize their interpretations and their implications based on the research question or based on the theme, or they might do research question, here are the themes, here are the interpretations, here are the implications, and then they go to the next research question. That is going to be a personal choice for you, um, and that is going to be up to your chairs and your committee's um, preferences. There are other creative ways for you to demonstrate your discussion section, but this is the most traditional way of doing things. And again, could you present it in creative ways? Yes. You just have to be willing to decide if you're willing to go up that hill. What is it? Die on that hill? Nobody needs to die. Fight that battle. Here we go. (laughs) Fight that battle with your chair or your committee if they go against it. But if they're supportive, I say be creative as possible. You need to also be prepared to address counter evidence or perspectives or literature that might go against your findings. Um, Be prepared to discuss it in this section as well as in your defense. And then don't be afraid to use numbers to further demonstrate your understandings, even if you are utilizing a qualitative design. Numbers of how many themes you found, numbers of how many memos you had, how many participants, um, if you had them do any journal entries, how many pages that seemed to be, pages of transcripts. It just further strengthens your your study and it further demonstrates the amount of work and effort you put into it and that it's a robust study and that it is you done your due diligence so those are some tips and reminders 